Hello and welcome to Cynic Placebo's Halloween Gaming Marathon. Now normally I try to show lesser known games, you're like, Cynic, Little Nightmares 2, not a lesser known game, what are you doing? Well, just like dieters have cheat days, this is my cheat day. I have not played this game, but I just bought it and I'm gonna play it, dang it. It's Halloween and I wanna play Little Nightmares 2. I loved the first game, so we're gonna give the second one a try. <clears throat> So without further ado, let's dive into Little Nightmares 2. Last time in Little Nightmares 1, we were a little girl in a raincoat. We'll see what we are here. We even got my Xbox One controller plugged in so that I can play with the controller, because it said, best played with controller. And I will listen. Is that an eyeball? Ooh, the controller's rumbling like crazy. Alright, we are not a little girl with a raincoat. We are uh, a kid that was so ugly we had to cover our head with a bag. Alright. <clears throat> okay, I can crouch with left trigger. Right trigger doesn't seem to do anything. A jumps. X sprints. B doesn't seem to do anything. Hi. Oh, why does that? Hi. Hmm. Okay. Looks like the bumpers are just uh, duplicates for what the trigger was doing in the first place. All right. Let's run then. Holding down X and trucking it. Let's see what Little Nightmares 2 has to offer. Uh, oh, right trigger grabs. Let's see. Oh yeah, it was left trigger to crouch. There we go. There's the... <clears throat> this whole time I was waiting for them to give me some tips, some tutorials, but I just had to experiment and figure it out. I thought they were going old school. I mean, back in the day, you either had to hit F1 to see what the controls were, or you just had to figure it out, because sometimes it was not in there anywhere. How do I throw something? Can I throw that? Can I... If I just... Hmm. Can I? Uh, what if I hit X? Y. A. Oh, okay, so if I hold something and hit A, it'll throw it. So if I hold, what if I hold up stick and then do it? No, it doesn't work. Alright. Well, that's a creepy thing. That almost looks like, uh, I realize there's probably just a bunch of different bodies in there, but it kind of looks like at the end of Limbo when you're just the giant mass of, like, zombies whose bodies have all been morphed into one and you got legs sticking out everywhere. Oh, I can't climb up there, huh? Oh, yeah, I can, if I just grab. <clears throat> Alright. Well, the aesthetic is every bit as enjoyable as Little Nightmares 1. Oh, there we go. What is that? You. Be sure to wash your feet before you eat anything. Oh, not quite the... Ian Malcolm quote I was going for, but, you know, close enough. Okay. Can I grab it from this side? There we go. So far, so good. That's probably close enough, right? Onward we go. On, Tab. On. Comment down below if you know that one. That is one of the classics. Possibly one of my all-time favorite movies. Whoa! Run away! I'm sprinting is just not fast enough. Ooh, man. My sprint is not that speedy. Alright. Can I climb inside of this guy? I don't really... Oh, the eyeball says it's saving stuff. Okay. I was like, does that eyeball mean I'm supposed to look at something? That's just the save indicator. All right. And leap. And leap. Yeah. Pro gamer right here. <laughs> I realize this is, you know, a fairly basic platformer. Compared to some of the, you know, Mario Brother games I played back in the day, the platforming here is downright simple. But the puzzle element is definitely good. Hmm. Can I really jump that? Well, 
Only one way to find out. Oh, and I'm dead. That's what I wondered. I just wondered if I could, like, catch on to the far side. All right, all right. I'm sorry I made you dive off a cliff. If someone with a controller told you to dive off a cliff, would you do it? You shouldn't have. Uh, if I go down there, I'm just going to be stuck, right? Or is there a pathway, like, down this way that I can't see? Can't, can I just, like, jump up and down and make this break? Can I hold on to the edge of it and, like, tip off? Nope. Oh. That worked. Weird. Apparently I can fall quite a ways. Those boards don't look secure, but, you know, I guess I don't weigh very much. Alright. Come on, little baghead. Gotta come up with a better name for this baghead character. Let's go with, let's see, well these shoes are gigantic compared to it. So, let's go with Little Cobbler. She's the elf that, or, or he, I don't know, I guess it could be boy. She's the elf that shows up in the middle of the night to cobble all your shoes. Ooh, that was kind of an accident. I mean, I figured these shoes would be for something. There was a lot of them, right? But, uh, I didn't exactly see the trap before I threw a shoe. <laughs> but I would have. Totally would have. I don't know. Maybe not. Come on, little cobbler. Who no, I want peach cobbler. Maybe that was a bad name choice. Should call her something I don't like. The problem is I like just about everything. Can I take this stick? I want this stick. Give it. Give it. <laughs> I knew it. And throw it. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't played this before or seen it, but... A lot of these puzzles feel very similar to the previous game. I don't remember them specifically, you know, but... Ooh, those leaves make it hard to see. There we go. Okay, so leaves are dangerous. I assume that if I go right there, there will be a trap. Our, oh, pine cones. Okay, I can pick up pine cones. And how far do pine cones go? At least they gave me a lot of them so that I can practice throwing them until they go to the right spot. Really? Nothing there? There we go. That's what I thought. I'm trying to like trigger a chain reaction that'll go all these other places, but... And I want some pine cones later so that when I am on that middle island I have some to take with me. Really? Nothing there? Okay. Well, I guess we can just go right here in the middle then. It says. Seems to say it's safe. Alright. Check all these pine cones. Do I need another pine cone? Ooh. I didn't want to go down. Whoops. Well, that's fine. Let's just stay on the path, huh? Alright. On to the path. And stay out of that one. Ooh. Spooky. So far, so good. I think the only time I've died is when I dove off that cliff. Is that right? Maybe I died another time and I just don't remember. My memory is not what it used to be. Back in the day, I'd watch a movie like one time and never forget it. Now I'm like, wait, have I even seen that movie? All right. Into a house. What do we have here? Hey, old incandescent light bulbs. You don't see those around too much anymore. Let's hide, because I made a noise. Oh. That light scares me. What's in the fridge? Anything? Fee fi fo fum Alright. Maybe we'll get some pig people in this one just like in the last one. Right now they're just kind of introducing us to the scale of things, I guess. 
This doesn't feel quite as big as the last one, but maybe it's just because I expect it to be big. Maybe it's the exact same size as the last one, but since since my expectation is that I'll be small in a, in a big world, it's not as surprising, therefore it doesn't feel as large. <clears throat> Can I open that? Come on. Okay, so I can't pull up all the way. I can just only kind of pull up. What's back here? Uh, equip hats collected in the pause menu. Hats, huh? Ooh, I can be Davy Crockett. Do I get to see your face now? Well, I can't quite see it. Can I just unequip a hat and then have a chance at seeing... No, nope. can I just say unequip? Nope, doesn't look like it. I just can't quite see the face, so I don't actually know if, what my character is like. Alright. So we've got hats to collect. Any of these hats count? Doesn't look like it. They're all for giant people anyway. Alright, can't open that one, but you can kind of get a glimpse back there. Ooh. That's a big person. All right. Can I take this knife? <clears throat> oh. Well, it was a valiant attempt. Can I hop back in there? Oh. Oh, okay, I thought I was disappearing in the cotton. Though these kind of look like the bags of cheese from Skyrim, don't they? I don't think that's knocking uh, this one as much as it's knocking Skyrim, those Skyrim bags of cheese. If they weren't labeled, I would never have figured out what they were. Alright, so another little Davy Crockett over there. I don't know if I'm supposed to get him or not, but, you know, let's try to throw something at him. Hey! Okay. Alright, what's on this side? Got an axe. Can I duck under here? Okay, can't take any of these. Oh, I fell. I can pull up on some things, just not everything. Interesting. Can I shimmy? No, I don't think I can. Alright. Gonna kill all the giants. Come here, Mr. Giant. Oh, whoops. Wow. Yeah. I was trying to jump with it. I forgot jump is the same as the throw button when you're dragging something. Come here, little David Crockett. Bring the axe in here. Oh, he's not a Davy Crockett. He just got a huge mop top. All right, there's Paul McCartney as a young boy. What's that drawing up on the wall? Candle? Rude. And he's been marking the days of his captivity down here, it looks like. Back upstairs, huh? Well, let's follow him. Up we go. Oh no, is he gonna call that big thing? Probably. Are they dead? Whoa. Creeptacular. I was thinking I was getting a glimpse of them in advance, but, uh, no, they're not here. They're here. They did. Interesting. Uh-oh. It's gonna ring the dinner bell. Is this kid feral? 
I mean, why is he... He keeps flinching every time I get near him. Oh, now he's gonna make noise. Oh, okay. Dem being scared, huh? Interesting. Am I gonna have to keep him safe? Come on, let's go, dude. Little masks and mannequin parts. Oh man, this these games they do so good with ambiance. I just love all the little minutiae they have everywhere. Can we push it? You wanna give me a boost? Hey, give me a boost again. Yeah, you go over there. No, go over there. It's like hurting sheep. Alright, well, fine. Don't go over there. See if I care. Alright, can't climb that. Can I just go under here? No. You know, kid, I thought you were going to help me by, like, boosting me and stuff. But so far, you're just a burden. I had to free you. I had to chase you down. Maybe if I just wait over here, he'll come over and boost me. Hey, look, see? See right here? Come over here. Come on. Come on, little feral child. Can I parkour off the walls? Hardcore parkour. All right. Oh, can I call him? Come here. Come here, you dummy. You gonna boost me? Come on. Boost me. Oh, I can hold his hand, huh? Hey, come on. Get over there. In the corner. I freed you. Now I own you. It is your duty to boost me. Why? I'm so confused. I mean, there's keys there, so I can definitely see that I have to go that way. Can I get down lower if I double-click the crouch? No. What could I grab? Man, I'm already stuck. I feel like this is still the tutorial and I'm stuck. Uh, oh, pff, I'm an idiot. This is going to be mobile, isn't it? Come on, get off of it. Don't make me push you, too. Hey, help me push this. There we go. Alright, I'm a little slow sometimes. Yeah, it looks like a trap, doesn't it? That right there? Looks like if you... Come on, grab grab the carpet and move the carpet, because that looks like there's a hole in the floor. Alright, let's just see if there is. It l certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like I'm going to step on that and fall right through. Hmm. Can I pull on this thing? No. But maybe I can climb it from here? Alright, so that's just to get back over, but can I jump up to there? Or jump over to this? No. Alright, so I need some sort of crank. Hmm. Uh, what's back here? Is there a little crank back there? No. Oh, crank! Where are you? All right, feral child, let me cram your head into this square peg. Square hole, I mean. <laughs> square hole, round peg, that'll work. There's like an allegory about that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't see what he, to even grab onto, because I can't get it from there. It certainly seems like I should be able to do something with this, but I don't see what... Hmm. And I can't... Oh, he is going to boost me now. I swear, I waited there the first time. Ah, alright. This feels like an escort mission. I don't like escort missions. 
All right, more. Is he dead or is he a real boy? Oh, no. Uh, so creepy. All right, take the crank. Come on. Oh, there we go. Take the crank and run. We'll go up the ramp. Oh, I don't need to crouch anymore. What am I doing? Just holding it for funsies. Wow, elegant. Okay, fix that. And crank it. Oh, fine. Okay, he's going to crank it. Good. What the? Oh, okay. I didn't hold on to it. A key! A gilded key. Oh, I put it in my pocket. I didn't even know I could put anything in my pocket. Excellent. Well, we've got the key. Let's bust out of this joint. This popsicle stand can't contain us. Alright. Oof. That hurt. Alright. Let's get this guy. And done. Ooh, the outhouse. Pardon me, I gotta take a teeny tiny number two in their giant outhouse. Okay. Ooh. Can I shimmy around? Nope. Can't shimmy, really. Hmm. Can we push this thing? How about you and me together? Let's push it. There we go. That's as far as it'll go, huh? Alright, can I grab it? And climb up? That'll be enough. Come on, Farrell. That's gonna be his name now. It's like Colin Farrell, but, you know, Farrell child. Ooh, so creepy. Oh, I love it. Run away! Run away! Whoa! Holy crap! It's like a hunter dude. Whoa! Am I dead? Whoa! Okay, so you gotta hide behind like boxes or something. Somehow I don't think those boxes were stop this attack, but, you know, we'll go with that. Quick, hide from the ring rays. Get off the road! That guy looks creepy. I like his hat, though. Stylish. Maybe he's gonna go, you know, fox hunting later. Buckleberry Fairy, run. I'm trying to hold right trigger. Hey, hold my hand. Dude, hold my hand. It's telling me to hold our hands. What? It says to hold right trigger to hold hands. Why can't I hold his hand? It's going to hit you. Come on. Jump on your head. I mean, it says to hold hands. There, come here. Ah, oh, finally. Do we double back?
I mean, we're little, little things. Can we just hide in the grass? As long as we hold still. They'll never see us. We're like mice. Easy does it. Be wary, wary quiet. I'm hunting little Davy Quackets. Easy, easy. Steady. I mean, we gotta make it to that hole, but I don't want to leave the grass. Alright, let's cheese it! Come on, let's go! Get moving! Yeah. Creepy dude's gonna be shooting holes in the ground. Just blind fire style. All right. Whew. This game makes me nervous. It's going to be like right here, isn't he? Clamoring over the hill. So far, not, huh? All right, what's this about? Okay. Yeah, I prefer games like this that are two-player, right? Like games where they have a, a normal human be the second player. But I get that, you know, that also makes it harder to play because then you have to have somebody that can do it. Oh, he's going to catch me? All right. Woo! Man, uh, that kid's got some grip strength. Thank you, Feral. All right. Got cages. Well, let's climb them. When in doubt, climb up the cages. Ooh, there's a hat in there. How am I going to get that? Hmm. Well, <laughs> well, no! <sighs> That's not the way I said to jump. I was trying to jump this way to try to grab, like, that box. Hmm. Can I just jump on it? Shake it out. Come on, I want your construction hat. Nice. Oh, it's not a construction hat. It's, a. Uh, what is that? Well, I just looted the dead body. Take that, little kid. All right, hats. Put on our new hat. Now I'm the epitome of stealth. No one will ever see me in this tall grass. Uh oh. Okay, we gotta push this down, I bet. Hey, kiddo! We need this to... not get shot. All right, fine. Jump down without me. See if I care. Oh, keep going. Man, this guy is serious. Ooh. Pull me up, pull me up. Uh, ah! Run for your life! He's a madman with a shotgun. And seemingly infinite ammunition. Ooh. Crawl under the house. Under the house. There we go. You. Well, we missed Buckleberry Ferry, but uh, we found this lovely stench. It's the bog of eternal stench. Paul. Oh! 
My lady, none shall cross this bridge without my permission. How do we climb up here? Can I just jump? Oh, we just gotta charge through the mud, huh? Alright, come on. Can I crouch under here? Oh, yeah. Alright, grab hands. Let's go at the same time. Hey, hold my hand. Alright, we gotta wait. Cheese it! Oh no. I'm so slow. Is he gonna come in the mud? Well, luckily he gives up quickly. So there's that. Well, I was worried about my rain hat being a liability, but, you know, now that it's just all muddy, it really is hard to see. Can we go inside this log? Come on. Do we have to rock it? Come on. Just that little extra push. Little extra push. You can do it. No, why? Why is this not happening? It certainly seems like the right thing to do, right? Can I jump on it? No. What on earth? Oh, we need him to shoot it. Uh huh. Here I am, good sir. Yes. Oh. Way to go, kid. You blocked me from coming back. You jerk. This feral. I'm not going to forgive you now for that. How many times do I got Is he going to hit it eventually? Yeah, come on. Alright, let's try this again. Did he shoot it ever? No. Okay, do I have to... Can you see me over here? Neener, neener, neener. Hey, dude, see me now? Do you see me now? Oh, all right. How? He's got to shoot that, but I don't get... I don't get how to make him shoot it any more than I already have. All right, how about... How about this one right here? Can we do anything to this one? No. Come on. Does he just need to see that we're tipping it? Look, it's moving, dude. You see it moving? Yeah, shoot it. It's moving. Or am I just pushing the wrong way? No. Maybe I have to hit run at the same time. Mash it? Mash the X. I'm mashing it. Doesn't seem to be working, but I just don't get how you would make him shoot it. All right, maybe it has something to do with this kid. Can I call him? Be like, hey, come over here. Maybe if I make enough noise, he'll shoot it? No? Look, you see this giant tree rocking here, dude? Up and down. Let it go down again. Let it go up again. No, it's just not going any further. Oh, wait. It just seemed to for a second, but... Maybe if I just wait? I don't know. What? I, don't, I do not understand what changed. I've got no clue what changed. Okay. I assume we'll die if we stay under there too long.
All right, well, I don't understand what changed about that, but something about me wiggling made the tree finally tip over. Maybe I just kept giving up too soon. Man, this guy is persistent. Run! Get inside! Really? How about we just go? Uh, how do we use the shotgun? Do you know how? Hey, you aim, I'll shoot it. Sure. Ooh. He wasn't expecting that. I also probably broke my left arm pulling that trigger. Creepy. Can we go see him? Oh, no. Little nightmares. Okay, come here. Now, come with me. I don't want to lose you. I won't let go, Jack. There's room on the board for both of us. Oh, good. See? Children are smarter than Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Take that, Rose. Oh no, we're going down with the ship. No! Oh, okay, I thought it was sinking. Iceberg off the starboard bow! No, just a bottle. And that's the port bow. Shh! Uh, okay, we're just gonna leave that message in a bottle, because we don't care. We're just two snot-nosed kids. Is that a buoy in the background, or the Eiffel Tower? Or a lighthouse, maybe, that's askew? Wow. CRT televisions do not float. Just saying. I don't know, maybe some do, but the ones I had were heavy enough they did not. My friend and I decided to dismantle an old uh, IB1, IBM 5150. And we were taking it apart, and we were going to throw a hatchet at it to try to get the CRT to blow up. But as we were taking it apart, we didn't realize that it stored a whole bunch of charge in the capacitor, and I zapped myself hardcore, made my whole arm numb. But then we threw hatchets at it and made it explode, so worth it. And I'm still totally fine today. No side effects. <laughs> this is so cool. And the sound's starting to get a little louder. Whoa. No, I don't like that. We are sailing in dangerous waters. Let's turn to the starboard side, huh? No, just a little bit? Alright. Also, do you see how the water's, like, going to the left? Doesn't that mean we should be floating to the left? Because it's not like we have a sail. So we should be at the whims of the waves. Alright. Hey, get over here. Come on, get over here. Can't just stay on the... Sure, marveling at the skyline that's tipping over. Is that another kid? I've only got two hands. I can't have an, any more kids. Two's the maximum. Uh, what? What? Is he like a TV apparition? Alright, there's a door there and a door here. This one's open, so let's go here. Very nice. There's a pair of pants with no one inside them. 
That's a deep cut reference to the Dr. Seussians out there. I keep thinking I'm hearing him say hey, but maybe he's just breathing weird. Yeah, what happened to all these people? Did they disappear after the little nightmare girl, like, destroyed their city? I, you know, I beat Little Nightmares 1, but I can't say I honestly remember. I remember there was that, like, creepy lady, and maybe I was the lady. It was a little hard to tell. Oh, wait, is it going to boost me? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, there we go. alley -oop. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll come back for you eventually. Whoa! I was trying to grab onto that TV and I just fell down the hole. Alright. I guess that TV's too tall for me to grab. We'll go off the other TV. I didn't think it was that tall. I've jumped up stuff that I thought was that tall before. Alright. Whoa! Alright. I accidentally let go of the grip button. That was just incompetence. Man, I was doing so good till now and now I flubbed it up twice in a row. All right. And swing and a leap. Oh. Oh, gosh. All right. I thought I was trying to get on top of the TV. I didn't realize it was going to move. All right, all right. I get it now. I get it. Third time's the charm. Or is this the fourth time? <laughs> there, was, there was a few deaths in there. This might be the fourth time. Kick the TV. Here we go. This is how I used to get a broken TV to work. Bam! That'll make Ghost Rider show back up again. Yeah! Kick it! Wanna watch Bill Nye the Science Guy? Bill! 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 Oh, come on! I made that jump. That's baloney. Alright, alright, alright. Let's try this again. I should have waited and gone for another swing. I just thought I was far enough that I could do it. This is why I'm not on Ninja Warrior. Well, that and, you know, the overall level of, you know, unfitness. And apathy, lack of ambition, you know, all, all of the above. I'll tell you what, though, I will watch Ninja Warrior with the best of them. Hardcore parkour! There we go. Alright, before we go save him, let's check up here, because I have a feeling there's like a hat up here or something. I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me a minute. No hat. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying you're not important, Feral, but, you know, come on. Hats. All right. <clears throat> it was then that little Feral realized that a giant television was plummeting down at his noggin. All right. That worked. You know, it didn't really have any right to... We should all be dead. I forget how very gray this game is for most of it. <laughs> you are kidding me. I can make that jump? Wow. That is some impressive hops. Never in my life was I fit enough to make that jump. Wait, let's check this way first. I just want to see. Hats. Any hats. Ooh, one of these things. I wonder what those are. I mean, it's a little weird when I get them. Not exactly clear what that's about. Another empty suit, huh? And this time I don't even mean a politician. Hey! Alright. That scares me. Oh, is it going to turn me into one of those crazy little static kids? Might. I mean, the controller is rumbling to beat the band. That's right. I'm from the 1920s. What of it? You see, suddenly when I was in the 20s, life was just swell. Uh, do I have to go up and push, turn it off? Can I unplug it? 
You see, when Philo T. Farnsworth invented the t television, he never expected anyone to be able to telepathically commute, communicate with the inside vacuum tubules. Hmm. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, I can, like, turn the TV. I can look up and down in it. Can we go further? If I keep pushing forward, maybe? Can I jump? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I can pull back. When I pull back, it does this. Whoa. I just teleported inside a TV. Take that, Philo T. Farnsworth. You invented television, I invented teleportation. Check and mate. Man, Farrell saved me again. I'm in this kid's debt. You know, I'm having a hard time remembering the pacing of the first game, but I think the first game got more puzzly quicker. But maybe it's just that I'm used to the puzzles since I played the first game, and so these ones feel less... less difficult because I've dealt with them before? I don't know. Alright, is that enough? Can we just go around? Ooh, you wanna play on the teeter-totter? Come on, Feral! Get on there, Feral! Don't you know how to teeter-totter? Come on! There you go. No! You gotta stay on your end! Oh, come on. You, you're doing it all wrong, Feral. You are the worst playmate ever. Okay, so if I stay here, can I call you and make you go to the other side? Come on! Go to the other side. No, you go to the other side. Alright. Oh, teeter-totter fast! Quitter. All right. Wee tire swing. All right. Swing two and push me, Feral. Push me. Fine. Don't even play. Be a weirdo creep. Is that a hat or is that just a weird thing? Wait. Look at this. She shoots. He flanks, passes to the forward, and he goes for the goal. Farrell, I set you up. Come on. Ah, oh, boo. All right, come on. He's driving it home. It's wide open. Farrell is the worst goalie of all time. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I'm the worst striker of all time. Out of bounds. Come on, okay. Uh, we're going to throw back in since it's out of bounds. And we're going to cheat, and we're going to use our hands, and score goal, sports ball. Come on, I want to get whatever's up there. No? Fine. But I don't want huge tracts of land, Father. All I want to do is to sing. No, 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 not that. What the? That's not right. Hmm. Okay, we got a lever. Got creepy eye holes. All right, let's pull the lever, see what happens. Wrong lever! Ooh. The eye holes glow. Hey, dude, come here. Boost me after this painting. I want to punch right through it. Come on. Give me a boost. Fine. You're no fun. It's almost like you were raised in an apocalyptic wasteland. Alright, this is a game called Catch. No. Catch, I said. What are you doing? Where'd the ball go? Now you lost the ball, Feral. Alright, why'd you pick that up? 
Okay, so clearly he thinks that this is important. I would have gone with the blocks myself, but okay. Okay, can we like set those in the light? No, is that not what that is, those are for? Can we throw them at the painting? Oh, sure enough. Wait, I didn't check this other door first. Wait, Farrell. I have to see if there's anything in here. Alright, it's just locked. Looks like it. I just couldn't quite see before the angle was rough. Alright. Got a chair. And uh, some fun torture implements. Like this. Oh, come on, pick it up. Fine. Alright, come here, Farrell. Come here. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. There we go. Jump. Same time. Thank you. Nice. Cans of stuff. You know, it'd be nice if I had a light. I know they gave me one of those pretty early in Little Nightmares 1. <clears throat> uh, can I not go through there? There we go. That was weird. I was trying to push up, but it didn't seem to care. Come on, help me, Feral. Yank on this puppy. Nice. You've got the strength of an ox, young man. You can catch me flying across the ravine with one hand, and you can yank a bare metal off the wall. You're like the Hulk. Oh, I don't like that. Creepy. I mean, it took this game long enough to get super creepy. They did okay with little, uh, creepy sewn Elmer Fudd, but, uh, this guy looks creepier. Can't grab that, really? Alright, fine. I won't, then. <laughs> Clocked. That was Kevin McAllister right there. Is that who runs this? Am I the Wet Bandits? Alright, let's just keep going. I don't think... Hey, another kid! Ooh, maybe this is actually like the, uh... That episode of Star Trek original series where, like, the kids are running the planet and they beat up and kill all the adults. Can't remember what they call them, like... Crunkunks or something like that. And bonk bonk on the head! Oh yeah, that's totally Kevin McAllister. <laughs> nice. Great. Oh, you little jerk. Fine. Guess I gotta go this way then. Follow that kid. Didn't work. Neener, neener. I'm still alive. What? If that kid fit through there, I can fit through here. Come on. Get in there. You're joking me. Fine, we'll go over top. That's a trap. Oh, I should have ducked. <laughs> All right, try this again. That would have gotten me right in the head. Ooh, crayons. Trapped me, ah. Run for oh cool. You've got no skull tops. They're like little dolls. 
and I'm like Sid from Toy Story and I'm gonna kill them all. <laughs> well, Farrell's dead. And it's all your fault, little Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett, crack this kid in the skull. Take that. Keep going. Yeah. Desecrate his corpse. Come here. That looks like a trap, doesn't it? Oh, I thought I could scooch to the side. Not well enough, I guess. Alright, let's crack some skulls again. Take that. Come here, you. Oh, dang it. I was too far forward. <sighs> Alright, we can do this. Just gotta go farther back. It's just hard because you're so slow with the hammer. Guess I could sprint. Oh, huh? I wasn't sprinting before. Hey, you. Yeah, come here. Uh-oh. Oh, he triggered it. <laughs> I've died on this trap more than anywhere else combined. <laughs> I don't know. That one TV killed me a lot, didn't it? Alright, come here. Come get me. Yeah, you. Come get me. Take it. Pinocchio will never be a real boy. Because he's a dead boy. Excuse me. Don't mind me, Bucket. I gotta get through. Coming through to kill things. Uh, I want my hammer. Fine. I'll leave it behind. Bonk, bonk. On the head. Just like I said. Take that, Captain James T. Kirk. Doll. I don't know. Can I open that locker? Stuff myself inside? No. Alright, we got a lock here, so we need a key. Ooh, it's getting creepy again. Got a person in the next room that I can hide behind these books. Is that like a teacher? Okay, we got some sort of teacher in there. Ooh, looks like Mrs. Dumpkey, my kindergarten teacher. These kids gonna narc me. Don't narc. Nobody narc. <laughs> the controller pulses. The rumble pulses every time the heartbeat sound goes. It's kind of fun. Oh, I probably could have made it. Better safe than sorry, though. Gotta take your time. The part of me wants to see what she's gonna do to me if she gets me. I'll have to replay this game just to fail more. Alright, we got this great. Why? What's this about? Can I not grab it? Doesn't look like I can. Weird. Can I pull all this stuff down? No. Alright, I just need the key. Oh no. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, at least it's saved here. Great. Alright, so we're gonna pull it down and hide in here. Can I get the key first? Definitely Miss Dumpkey, my kindergarten teacher. She did that same thing. 
<laughs> no. She wasn't that bad, but she was pretty bad. If you ever called her teacher, she'd call you pupil. <laughs> oh. Did she see me? Oh. She scared me. I thought she could see me. Well, she's looking that way. So I can go for the desk, right? Oh, that's where I was. Go, Sclair, go! Should I go behind her desk? I can't decide if I should go... That got me. I thought she was coming for me. Yep, she definitely can. Yikes. Alright, alright, alright. Gotta be more careful. Okay. Let's see, we've been going just over an hour, so I should probably call it quits here sooner than later, but... Get a move on. <clears throat> oh. I was gonna try to go down to that next desk, but I keep getting, like, snagged on chairs and stuff. She definitely freaks me out. Turn away. There you go. Get out of here. No, she's coming. She's coming. Get there. Come on, go! Is she gonna come up the stairs? I mean, why wouldn't she, right? Maybe there aren't any stairs? Alright. You're just gonna keep doing that over and over again, huh? All right, well, charge me, and then I'll go steal that pipe. Oh, what? I was slightly out of reach. Lame. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to get a drink. All right. Grab this. There we go. Break that skull. Well, he's a lovely artist, at least. You know, there's that. Wonder what that painting down there is on that piece of paper. There we go. So far, so good. Alright. Well, as much as I like this game, and maybe I'll play some more of it later. I think this gives you an idea for what Little Nightmares 2 has to offer. It's clearly, uh, you know, the absolute successor to Little Nightmares 1. So if you haven't played Little Nightmares 1, go back on my channel and you can see me playing that. But if you have and you're interested in this game, go ahead and pick it up because it is an excellent game for Halloween. So as always, I've been Cynical Siebel. This is my Halloween gaming marathon. Come back in and check in on more games that you may or may not have heard of. This one was a bit of a cheat day because it's a well-known game. But, you know, every now and again I gotta indulge myself. Alright, catch you on the flip side.